Hello, my name is Adam. I am the co-founder of Reloom. And in this video today, I'm going to be introducing you to Reloom Library's latest feature called Libraries. So now for the first time ever, you can create your own component libraries by copying a component from a Webflow project, pasting it into Reloom Library, saving that, and then sharing that publicly or privately. So why have we created this? Well, there are three use cases for this component library feature. The first use case is, I'm sure if you've ever used Webflow before, uh, you've created components or sections on other sites that you would like to use on uh, your existing projects. And so this is one way that you can centralize all the components that you've made uh, in one place and use those across projects. The second use case is building component libraries for your clients. So Reloom has uh, an agency side of the business uh, and since launching Reloom Library, we've had a lot of clients reach out asking uh, to build a component library for them. Uh, and so this is uh, our way of creating a tool for the agency, for ourselves. Uh, and we feel like many other Webflow agencies can benefit from this tool as well uh, to help uh, your clients build on Webflow. And the third use case is uh, to create community-made component libraries. So since launching the Reloom library, uh, we've brought our own, I guess, flavor to the game. Uh, we weren't the first to launch a Webflow component library, uh, but we have done it in a way that saves people uh, hundreds of hours of Webflow development. This is just one way that we've uh, decided to, to build a component library. Uh, you know, it uses client first, it's unstyled, uh, and our components are unique, but we believe there are many ways to build a component libraries uh, we haven't touched upon building you know, fully styled components. And so uh, we've built this tool as a way for the community to come in and, and create their own libraries and boost the ecosystem of components. So they're the three use cases for why we have uh, built uh, this uh, library. And so I'm really excited to jump in and, and show you how to use this. So let's get started. Okay, so I've logged into Reloom Library. And as you can see, if you are an existing user of Reloom Library, uh, we have added two new buttons. Uh, you have your library, which basically uh, stores all the components that you have created. This is where you can access them. Uh, and you can also save any components that you find uh, in the community. You can save them to your library. Then you have create a component, which takes you to a page where you can create, uh, basically save the component and then store it into your library. So let's have a look at your library. So as you can see here, my library is empty. So I'm gonna start uh, by creating a folder for the purpose of this demo. Um, if you do wish to uh, share uh, components, you will need to add them to a folder. Um, so I'll create a, uh, a component uh, library for my clients called Acme. I'll call it Acme Components. Uh, and then in this description, I can add a description where I can link them to like Loom videos, maybe showing them how to use this, or I can link them to a starter project um, or back to the, the Webflow project. Here's just a space where you can add a little bit of a description. But for the purpose of this, um, I might just add um, a, a, dummy, a dummy description for now. Okay, so I will then click create, uh, create folder. And as you can see here, it's now added to my library. I can go ahead and click the folder and you'll see that it is empty. So I will now start to add components to this folder, uh, which is where I'll be taken to the create a component page, where I'll need to paste in components from my Webflow project into this page. So I'm gonna go over to my project that I have uh, set up already, and I'm going to uh, copy some of the components inside of this page. So I'll start by copying the nav bar over. I'll hover over this section uh, and press paste. And so here you can see that it has been pasted below. I can update the component name, call it navbar. I can select the folder that it belongs to, um, but it's in the right place, so I don't need to do that. Uh, I can then upload an image. So I've already screenshotted uh, the components, so I can upload that here, and I can also add a description. Now, I can choose to add this component individually, um, or I can choose to add multiple components at once and click add all to your library. So I'm actually gonna go do, ahead and do that, just add in a couple of components from this project. So I'll add in the header by pressing Control C, going over here, Control V. You can see it's been pasted below. I'll add in the testimonial section, the frequently asked questions section, and then the footer. 
Great, so now I'll just go through and rename everything. Great, so they've all been added in. I'm going to go to the top here and press add all to library. And so that'll be added. Great, so now I'm back uh, inside of the folder and as you can see, I've added all the components to this folder. Um, I'll just test it out. So I can now press copy, uh, go back to my project or my Webflow uh, page and I can paste in um, the say FAQ question, uh, the figure out questions uh, components here. So now we can see it's working. That's all good to go. Now, that is essentially how you to create and store components inside of a folder. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can go about sharing uh, this folder. So I can click share, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to share it privately to a client. Uh, so let's imagine that this client's called client reloom1234 at gmail.com. I can then choose to um, just enable them to copy, uh, to just maybe view, let's, let's say that, I just wanna send it to them, I don't want them to copy any components, I just want them to see it. I can select can view, uh, or if I want them to actually edit the components, update them, um, update their names, update the actual components themselves, I can click can edit, or if I want them to be able to like have full access to this folder, including changing the permissions of the people um, that it's been shared to, then I can give them admin access. But for the purpose of this demo, I just want to enable them to copy, so I'll leave it as can copy and press invite. Great, so the next step would be to actually copy this link and then send it to the client. Uh, so let's imagine that now I am the client. Um, what I would do is I would go ahead and uh, basically follow the link. Paste that in, it will take me to the folder, but it'll, it will tell me that I can't access it because I haven't been, uh, I have, I'm not signed in or logged, uh, haven't logged in or signed up. So I'll click sign up. As the client, they don't need to pay for this. So they can just join the free plan and sign up. They will be taken through an onboarding process, but for the purpose of this demo, let's just skip ahead to the folder. So once they have filled out the onboarding, uh, they will return back to the folder uh, where they can um, begin to copy and paste and use uh, the components on back, uh, back to the project that they're working on. So uh, let's just test that. I can paste in uh, another frequently asked questions. Let's say I delete that. Paste that in, as you can see. Uh, now the client has full access and, and can now add that to their library. So now that uh, they're in their, their um, account, they can go to your library and here is the folder that they can return back to. Then now you can continue to add and edit and they'll be able to see the new components coming in. So that is the client's experience. I'm going to close this uh, and return back to uh, the original experience. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually share this component library uh, publicly to the community. So you can do that by toggling this on uh, and then allowing people to copy and duplicate and then you can copy this link and share that out and people in the community will now be able to access your components, which is, which is pretty cool. Now, as part of this release, uh, we have released our first ever community made components uh, with Untitled UI by Jordan Hughes. Uh, so Jordan has gone ahead and created Webflow components version uh, of his Figma uh, UI kit. And so I can view those. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a community made uh, component library that's available to everyone. So you can go ahead and you can view all the components. There's 275 of them and start to use them yourself. Uh, but let's say I want to add them to my library. I can click add to your library uh, and now they'll be uh, accessible uh, when I go back to my library. <clears throat> so here we have the component folder that I created and the Jordan's uh, com uh, components here as well. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I've taken you through how to uh, create your own folder, how to share them privately and publicly and also how to access community made components. I just want to highlight that um, our components are still um, available. Um, Reloom components will still be available. We'll still be continuing to build, um, build our own components uh, in our way and they'll be accessed through our platform just like they were prior. So yeah, I uh, hope you like what you see. We look forward to seeing what components uh, you guys uh, create, what component libraries come out of this. Uh, and if you have any feedback, uh, please reach out to us, join our Slack channel. Uh, we have a great community there. Uh, and thanks for watching and thanks for all your support.